So what is spark plugs? Spark plugs is very similar to the white part that you see in here. It creates a tiny little spark, electrical sparks, and then uh, to combining it with the gas, which is propane on the stove, that will create, and plus oxygen, that will create fire. And the wire that leads to the spark is called ignition coil. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to teach newbies how to take care of cars. As we have new driver in our house and she only know how to put gas in the car and I expect it to run. So this video is intended for very beginners level that doesn't know how to use tools and doesn't know where to start. So if you already knew how to do this, you can skip to the part where we actually taking uh, spark plugs and put them in a car. Uh, this is for people who never done this before to learning about tools and where to get the parts. The best way it, to get the right part for your car is to visit a local car parts store, such as um, O'Reilly, AutoZone, um, Advanced Auto. I just name a few, but there are many. Um, some of them even loan you tools so you can get the job done. So um, you can come in there. All you need to know is what kind of car, what type of car you have, uh, like a Toyota Prius uh, 2007, uh, and then, you know, that was just example and uh, how many liters, usually they ask like, how many liter are they? You just need to know like 1.8 liters, uh, whatever it is, you just need to know a specific car for your type and tell them what you need. You tell them like, I need a spark plugs and I need ignition coil for um, my car and I need an OEM parts. OEM parts are original parts that manufacture for your car. And uh, those are the best parts. However, if you cannot afford OEM parts, just ask them what is the good parts for your car that doesn't cause you an arm and leg, but still reliable enough, not like the cheap version. So they can, they can help you picking out what you need. And that's the best way to go about it. And if you don't know uh, where to shop, that's the best way to start, even though they're a little bit expensive than some online discount place such as Rock Auto, but um, they can help you in person. And Rock Auto, you gotta know what you're shopping for uh, to go in there and shopping for it. Uh, so also, you know, also they can tell you like how many mileage um, some of the spark plugs are good for. Some of them are good for 60,000 miles, some of them 80,000 miles, some 100,000 miles. So. It depends if you want to keep the car running for a long time, you might want to go for a hundred thousand miles. And again, don't go cheap with this type of parts because they are very important uh, part of your car to keep things running. What are the signs of faulty ignition coil? A loss of power. The first symptoms of ignition coil failure. Check engine light on poor fuel economy, backfiring, misfiring engine, hard starts and stalling, sputtering and coughing sounds, jerking and vibration. I have uh, a few options that uh, I would consider. Um, for example, if you are going to keep your car for long term, you might want to go with the OEM, the original part that came with the car, uh, those are the best quality. It lasts for a long time. And also there are spark plugs that um, that last from, um, you know, 60,000 miles to 80,000 miles or to 100,000 miles. So make sure you buy the one that is right for you and the uh, more quality, the longer it lasts, the more expensive it gets. So um, I will go with the most expensive because I'm thinking that I'm going to keep this car for my sister and hopefully that lasts her for a while. Um, and also the ignition coil I got, I go with the original too as well because I saved on the labor. Uh, I got the quote um, for $500 
uh, for replacing spark plugs like ignition coil and literally it take me less than an hour to do it so you can definitely do it and save lots of money um, or you can buy just the cheapest just to save money for a short run however um, there's no guarantee how long it's going to last especially ignition coil it's the uh, basically the most important thing of your car so you might not want to save on this kind of stuff so uh, buy more likely oem as much as possible um, but if you can't afford it go with a cheap one so you can save money and then eventually replace them later This is the spark plugs tools to removing the spark plugs with. And uh, you can borrow this from the local store. Uh, I, I'm i sure that they will allow you to borrow things, um, especially like AutoZone and uh, Advanced Auto. Those, if you are buying their stuff, like a um, spark plugs and ignition from them, ask them if they will loan you some tools. So you do not have to buy this because this is, uh, you don't use this in a regular basis. Uh, you only need to use it when you're changing out your spark plugs, which is every 80,000 miles to 100,000 miles. This is a spark plug gapper. You can buy this in uh, the local store. They pro probably sell it for around five three to five dollars is not really expensive at all uh, you can grab this while you um, ask them about spark plugs and ignition coil with this job you're gonna need an, an extension for your spark plugs and uh, it's approximately about six inches long or a little bit longer will be perfect for the job. This is just a sample tool kit that I'm showing you through Amazon. Literally, you can buy everything on Amazon nowadays, but you can just go to uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, or um, the car place. They probably can sell you something very basic to able to use it for your car um, or um, what's it called? Harbor Freight is super reasonable uh, but their quality is a little questionable uh, however if you just need something very basic you do not need to spend too much money on tools um, if you just beginner go with something cheap and something that is super basic just to get the job done so um, all you need is a few bolts, basically uh, the basic bolts for my car, specifically for my car, uh, I use a, an 8mm to uh, 8mm to 10 to 12, basically those are the three basic bolts that I use. Uh, I also use that for my Ford, I usually use about uh, 10 to 12 mm so it's not that hard to get it's super easy just get the basic one and the wrench that's all you need this is uh, an old school way to look for the spark plugs the type that you need is going through your car manual they should have it in there just under spark plugs and it will tell you what kind of tip and what kind of spark plugs you're going to need I choose to go with the OEM version, not this cheap one because I um, want it to last for a long time. I do not know how good this brand is before I am recommend to anyone. I do not recommend this brand or any particular brand. I just want to go with e OEM, which is originally designed for my car. So I bought a Denzel, um, spark plug uh, I mean ignition coil this is the ignition coil for my car uh, and again if you are um, on the budget you don't have the money 
and you do not want to keep the car for a long term, you might want to go with the cheaper route. This is only sixty-one dollars for four. Mines are um, approximately sixty dollars with taxes and shipping. It costs about sixty dollars, a pretty much four times more expensive than this one, uh, and it adds up. Uh, so just say uh, approximately sixty dollars times four. That's basically um, twenty. $2,240 for uh, my, spark, my ignition coil alone. So just letting you know that you want to go with expensive version, it's, it can be expensive uh, if you have six cylinder or eight cylinder, that will add up. Um, but for now, I, I just think that if you're going with the cheaper version, you, uh, you don't know how long it's going to last and um, your car might fail or having issues stalling or who knows after you know 50,000 miles or something so if you want to keep your car longer go with a quality version uh, this is uh, the uh, OEM uh, version that I uh, purchased for my car as you see the price is practically <laughs> Uh, equivalent to four of the cheaper version so um, you're gonna have to pick and choose which one is the best option for you since I'm saving money from do it myself so I spend a little bit more on the quality so um, it is up to you you can pick and choose which is the best for your budget Before installing your spark plugs, you can definitely need to check for defects. Uh, what is the gap that uh, you need to adjust your spark plugs? Because mine, um, when I bought them, it came in with a, a different um, specs than what my car is required. Uh, so look up an AutoZone right here. I, I just show you the sample. Just look up the type of car, the ignition coil, what do you need, spark plugs and stuff like that. It will tell you what is the gap for it uh, that you need to adjust it to. So you can buy the gapper and adjust it to the manufacturer specs. This is the gapping tool that I got from the auto parts. It came in, it looked like a coin, and it's, uh, it shows you from the, nu the number that you can adjust it to, and it's from going from thin to thick, depends on the gap that you want to adjust it to. All right, so this is the number they're gonna tell you. Mines are 0 0.44, uh, basically almost point. For a zero four five, basically that's almost like mine, and uh, you taking out your spark plugs, and you see the the tip right there. You need to adjust that and be very careful. Do not press on the little tiny little tip on the top uh, too hard that you're gonna break it or damage or bend it. So just lightly slide them over and see what is the gap that says on there. Mine's or says like 0 0.038 and, uh, and I need to adjust it to uh, 0 0.045. And what you do is you put that into a tiny little hole right there and pull it out. Be super, super gentle. Even I'm doing this for a demonstration, I pull a little bit off, not a little bit, but it's a lot off. So uh, what you need to do is push them back using the tip of it and just push them gently, push a little at a time uh, to, to bring them back to smaller, uh, to smaller gap and also check in between so you don't overdo them, okay? Again, chuck and push 
push it down like that to change the gap. Guys, just to making sure that um, you buy from a very reputable place, because when I put this in, uh, I bought it from eBay, and it's supposed to be genuine OEM, and end up with like it's it's like a fake one, and my car start having misfire, and uh, I have to take it out and and uh, buy a new set from uh, Rock Auto, but again, uh, choose a local place is fine. Uh, but I compare the two, uh, actually one, uh, the, the writing is, it's, the printing on it is much lighter and uh, it's just not good. And so I replaced four of them uh, out. It's just a waste of money if you're going with the wrong suppliers. top of the ratchet you should see a look like a triangle t-shape you can turn left or right it will change direction turning left is to remove and turning right is to tighten So now, you're pressing this down and pull it out. Okay, take this out first and press it and pull. sometimes so I use this sometimes to, to get it press I use this plier yes that's better this is the ignition coil boot I am going to replace this guy Okay, so this is the um, spark plugs removal tools. And you use the extensions connected to it. And then uh, you get the ratchet, the wrench actually, and connect it to it. And that is how you remove it. I use a dialectic grease, it's called like silicone paste, and uh, I put them into the um, 
the bottom piece right there in the bottom of the ignition coil and um, that was just basically preventing um, moisture to damaging the electrical parts inside of it and protecting the spark plugs from getting um, moisture damage. What you need to do is uh, when you're putting the spark plug in and you putting you tighten it, you need to tighten it by hand first until it's snug and, and tight by hand. Then you can use a wrench to tighten it uh, more uh, and then uh, until they are tight but not too much. Um, and then you go another quarter but don't over tight or don't under tight either, but um, you can definitely use a torque wrench. Um, that is a torque wrench. It just flashed in a picture earlier. Um, and then it will tell you specifically in your, um, you can take a look at your manual or some other uh, website, Toyota website maybe, and it will tell you what is the spec for your car. Um, spark plugs torque and then you can uh, torque it to the pounds that specify for that.